Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. When it's springtime is when I get really ambitious. I like to change out many of the items in my house because I love bright colors. So I'm going to show you some of my table toppers that I like to place around my home. This one is very bright and cheery. I have a white kitchen. So this really stands out and I usually keep a pretty little vase on it with some pretty artificial flowers on it. I'm going to show you a couple more. Now these are small. I use these under lamps. They're a little bit smaller. They help protect the tabletop, but also they give a lot of extra color to that time of year. Let me show you one more. This one is larger and I made this larger because I like to place it in the center of my dining table. And again, I love big vases. So I'll put a giant vase on top of it with some type of greenery or artificial flowers. And this one is really simple. You start out as a square, you cut the corners off and you have this kind of geometric look. I also place this one in the center of my dining table at times and it's round with a little ruffle on it and it has applique hearts. Butterflies are in the fabric and I got this fabric at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts and it's so cheery, very springtime, summertime and it, I just love it. I call this one my 10 minute table runner, but if you uh, do some of the other things I suggest in the tutorial, it could take you maybe up to 20 minutes. And it's very, very simple. It is probably my most popular table runner. This is the shorter version. I keep this one on my entry table in, uh, near my front door, but I also have a longer version. This is called a jelly roll and it's pre-cut strips of fabric. They're two and a half inches wide by about 42 inches long. And I think you usually get about 20 strips in here. You can buy these at Walmart and you can buy them at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts, fabric.com, equilter.com, all over the internet. So let me show you the easy projects you can do with a jelly roll. Remember that 10 minute table runner? Well, this is also the same exact pattern, but in the center, I cut up the jelly roll strips into a specific link, any link that you want, and created this very cheerful springtime table runner. Now, I have a really simple process on these two for putting your jelly rolls together. Makes it really, really easy. Now, this doesn't have cotton batting in it. It has some lining underneath the jelly roll strips. These are really cute. Now, these are narrow. Uh, the one that looks like this, I have one very similar to it that I keep on a dresser, a white dresser, in our little spare room that we have. And it's so pretty and it really makes the room feel cheerful. Now, this jelly roll had a lot of yellow in it and I just absolutely love yellow. And this is called a brick layer design. And all of your strips are just kind of offset. They're not lined up perfectly at all. So it's really easy to put together. This is just squares. There's nothing really special about it, just squares. And these little corners are square pieces cut in half and stitching them up into the corners. This is a very beautiful blue. I really like this blue. And in here I have little pear fabric. I really love this one. As you all know, I love my orange and I love my yellow. And this is one solid piece of fabric going down through the middle. And at each end, I have this square and I have this really pretty bird fabric in the corner. This one would be fun for a child's bedroom on their dresser. It's got some really soft colors in it. I could really see this in a little girl's room. This is also one of my more popular table runners that I have, and it's a zigzag going all the way down the strip. And it's just a bunch of triangles stitched together. And this one is not difficult. It probably looks difficult to you, but it's really not. Often I make a very plain or simple table runner because sometimes that's really all I want. This is all yellow. 
I have polka dot fabric here and this little other uh, pattern down here. And I used this on a really long skinny console table that I had and I really just loved it. I have lots of little tables all over my house. And this is another just plain, one solid piece of fabric on the front and back, a little bit of binding on it. It does have cotton batting in it, and I did do some quilting stitches on it, but it's perfect for that little table. If you're gonna have a great big Easter Sunday dinner at your home and you have a large dining table, you can buy a pre-made tablecloth this is Pioneer Woman tablecloth from Walmart, very inexpensive, but I needed it to be just a little longer. So all I did was stitch at the bottom this st stitch of uh, strip of fabric all the way around. If you like a more neutral, elegant look to your dining table, this was also purchased at Walmart. The lace trim I added at the bottom is also from Walmart. This is a very inexpensive project to do and only takes a few minutes. These are just a few of my table runner projects that I have. So I'm gonna list a link down below your YouTube screen that you can click on. It's a playlist and it will show all of the different table runner styles that I have. So you can use spring and summer fabrics on all of them. I hope you enjoyed looking at all of these table runners. It's one of my favorite projects to do and I do do a lot of them. Uh, when you go down below to look for all those links, you also see links to other beginners sewing projects. So feel free to scan through all of that. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny. See you next time.